Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Yesterday I let you know that with the recent end of support on the 14th of October earlier this month of Windows 10, that Zorin OS, which is a very popular alternative Linux distro to Windows 10, because it's got the same look and feel and layout, saw record downloads on the same day that Microsoft ended support of Windows 10. And I'll leave the video linked if you'd like some more information. Now, just carrying on in the Linux vein as an alternative to Windows 10, that the Document Foundation, which as you may well know, are the makers of LibreOffice, which is a very good alternative to Microsoft Office, has now reminded Windows 10 users about all the reasons why Linux is better, according to the Document Foundation. And if you can't upgrade to Windows 11 officially, that you should switch to Linux instead of buying a whole new PC, which is Microsoft's obviously official recommendation, as I've posted previously. Now, the Document Foundation has this officially to say, before we have a look at the 10 reasons to switch from Windows to Linux on your desktop. Today, which was recently on the 14th of October, the Document Foundation says, and I'm quoting, Microsoft is ending official support for Windows 10. This leaves users who want to continue using the operating system with few alternatives, especially if they have an old PC that is not compatible with Windows 11's demanding hardware requirements other than buying a new PC. They carry on to say, if you're tired of struggling with your operating system instead of getting work done, it might be time to reconsider your setup. Linux isn't just for servers and developers. It's also a viable alternative to Windows for desktop use. Whether you're looking for better performance, greater privacy, or a more intuitive user experience, the Document Foundation says Linux is the answer. Now, if we have a look at the 10 reasons why they are saying you need to switch to Linux on your desktop, starting with number one, no forced updates. Windows, it says, often interrupts your work with updates and sometimes restarts your system without your permission. So you get no forced updates on Linux. It's really free. Linux costs zero in any currency. Most distributions are open source, meaning you can download, install and use them for free forever with no license fees or activation keys. Number three. Speed and performance. Linux is generally faster than Windows, particularly on older PCs. It starts up faster, uses less RAM, and does not slow down due to background processes. Number four, privacy built in. Unlike Windows, Linux does not track users, collect data about your connection, or send your data to the cloud for diagnostics. No useless software. The Document Foundation says Windows comes with pre-installed software that you never asked for, such as games, shopping apps, and trial versions. Now, I must say a lot of those apps can be uninstalled, but nonetheless, no useless software is the fifth reason. Security without issues. Linux, it says, is less targeted by malware because it has more robust user authorization systems, meaning that an antivirus is not always required. Number seven, you own your system. And I think this is a big one for a lot of Windows users who are moving from Windows to other OSs and even Linux, where it doesn't feel like your own system, where the Document Foundation says Linux enables you to customize every aspect of your desktop from the user interface to the kernel. Looking at reason number eight, easy application management. Linux uses package managers that enable you to install and update apps from trusted sources with a single command. Now on this note, I do think that the um, terminal and the command interface is a little bit daunting for your average home user when it comes to doing updates and upgrades on Linux. But speaking from experience, it's quite easy to learn and to manage in the long run. Number nine, Freedom of choice, and this is another big one I've seen in the comments. The fact that not all Linux systems are the same is a good thing, as it allows you to choose the distribution that best suits your needs. And then number 10, Linux boasts a global community of passionate users who love to help others. 
So that's the 10 reasons why you should switch from Windows to Linux on your desktop, especially if your Windows 10 device, according to the Document Foundation, cannot be upgraded to Windows 11. And the article is finished off, and I'm quoting, In conclusion, Linux isn't perfect. No operating system is perfect, but Linux is an interesting choice for users who want speed, privacy, control, and freedom from big tech's impositions. It has come a long way since its days as a system for geeks and is now more intuitive than ever. Do you agree? Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm always interested to hear. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.